Greetings to everyone on the Clever Build DIY educational channel. In this video we will talk about how to choose a hammer drill and what points you need to consider when choosing this tool. A professional builder and amateurs to build or repair something with their own hands, you can't do without a hammer drill. To purchase a functional power tool that meets operational requirements means to optimize your work, work quickly and efficiently. A hammer drill is used to make holes in hard material such as concrete and should never be confused with an impact drill, since an impact drill is not designed to work with concrete. It is used for softer or hollow materials such as plaster or brick. Choosing a hammer drill, characteristics that need to be considered. When choosing a hammer drill, among other things, like any other tool, they must be guided by its design features and technical characteristics. Engine power, by the force of the blow, hole drilling diameter, the rotation speed of the cartridge, the speed of the blows. Weight and other pleasant benefits that help facilitate work. The first thing to pay attention to when choosing is the location of the motor in the tool body. The hammer drill motor can be both horizontal and vertical. In the first case, the electric motor has a parallel orientation relative to the impact axis. In the second, the direction of the motor axis is perpendicular to the direction of impact, such a tool is more massive. Horizontal devices are more practical, they can be used in uncomfortable and narrow openings. They tend to be lighter than the vertical version. In the horizontal version, most universal household devices are produced, with them, you can not only make holes in the walls, but also drill, or, for example, stir the solution. The advantage of vertical hammer drills is their greater power and better motor cooling system. The disadvantage of such a tool is a lower spindle speed, as a rule, greater weight and dimensions. Versions with a vertical engine are more often referred to as a professional tool, they are not universal, their task is only in one thing, it is good to make holes and hammer. Number of modes. The modes of operation of the device are the most important component when choosing. When buying a hammer drill, it is important to have an understanding of the possible modes of operation. Drilling. Drilling plus blow, blow. The drilling mode is similar to a conventional drill and is designed to create holes in relatively soft materials. Impact drilling mode, when the drill simultaneously performs circular and translational movements, is designed for drilling holes in concrete and other hard surfaces. The impact only mode is used for chipping, punching niches, chipping tiles and other work with a chisel. On some models, on the scale for switching modes, you can find the designation of the fourth mode. The icon of this mode can be made in the form of various icons. This mode is used for unhindered rotation, positioning the bit to the desired position. Depending on the model of the hammer drill, you need to select the modes you really need that you will actually use. There are models that can only drill with chiseling and chiseling, and other models, in addition to the first two functions, can also simply drill. It is clear that for many homeowners, the best option is to buy a universal hammer drill with three modes, who knows what tasks may be posed in the future. Engine power. The engine power indicates the ability of the machine to work in an intensive mode, with a greater load. The power value of the perforator is on average in the range from 450 to 2000 watts. Conventionally, all power tools can be divided into household, up to 900W, and professional, over 900W. The most in demand are tools with a capacity of 600 to 800 watts. All of them are capable of destroying hard surfaces, punching holes, and individual devices can serve as drills. For constant intensive use, working with thick walls, you will need a hammer drill with an engine power of 1500 watts or more. If repairs or construction are infrequent, then it is optimal to choose a power of 750 to 900 watts. For occasional use, it is enough to have a device with a capacity of 550 to 600 watts. Impact force. Impact force refers to one of the most important characteristics of a hammer drill, indicates the ability of the tool to effectively interact with the working surface. Impact force is measured in joules, newton meters or inch pounds. The impact energy rating of currently marketed tools ranges from 10 to 265 in LB. 
The higher this value, the less effort is made to drill concrete walls with a larger drill bit. A 13 to 22 in LB rating will suit basic needs such as drilling holes in brick or cinder block walls. The optimal impact force for a domestic environment is 26 in LBS, which is roughly equivalent to a hammer drill of 800 to 900 watts. Such models will allow you to work calmly on a hard surface. If large diameter drill holes are to be drilled, 44 to 53 in LB force will be required. For particularly challenging jobs such as demolition of buildings, walkways, drilling wide holes with core bits, impact forces of up to 265 in LBS are required. Drilling diameter. As a rule, the drill hole diameter is indicated for concrete and metal surfaces. Its value depends on the type of nozzle, which can be a solid drill or a hollow crown. The diameter of the hole made with the crown is approximately three times the size obtained with the drill. In general, holes with a diameter of 4 to 160 mm can be made. The most popular hammer drills, with a capacity of 600 to 800 watts, drill holes with a diameter of 13 mm in metal, 26 to 28 mm with a drill in concrete and 65 mm with a diamond crown in concrete. Rotation speed and impact rate. The speed of rotation of the working element of the tool can vary from 230 to 2300 revolutions per minute. Household devices, as a rule, have a high value, about 1000 to 2000 revolutions per minute, professional ones, a smaller value, about 230 to 450 revolutions per minute, since they are used only for chiseling drilling. For home use, it is enough to purchase a hammer drill with a rotation speed of 1000 to 1500 revolutions per minute. The impact speed can be 2150-5800 beats per minute, the best option for home is 4000-4500 beats per minute. Chuck type. The chuck serves for fastening the working attachment, drill, crown, or chisel. Today there are two types of chuck, SDS Plus, SDS Max. SDS Plus chuck is designed for fixing tools with a shank diameter of 10 mm and a working diameter of a tooling up to 26 mm. Used in light, sometimes medium-sized hammer drills. Devices with this type of chuck have three operating modes, drilling, drilling plus impact, impact. In addition, it is possible to install an additional jaw chuck designed to mount drills with a cylinder shank. SDS Max Chuck is used for mounting a shank with a diameter of 18 mm with a working diameter of nozzles from 20 mm. They are part of the design of medium and heavy rock drills. Tools equipped with an SDS Max Chuck do not have a drilling mode. Rotary Hammer Weight The convenience and possible duration of work depends on how much the tool weighs. Weight directly depends on the power of the tool, it can weigh 2.2 kg and all 12 kg. Light devices weigh up to 3 kg, medium 3 to 5 kg, heavy, more than 5 kg. A household hammer weighs about 2.6 to 3.3 kg. Additional characteristics. In addition to the main characteristics, additional ones are also important. Reverse. Reverse, serves to rotate the working element in the opposite direction. The reverse can be mechanical, where you need to turn the brush holder to switch, this option is considered quite reliable. The second version of the reverse is electronic, this version is considered less reliable. Smooth start, serves to exclude sudden jerks at the beginning of work, allows to significantly increase the service life of the tool. Not all models are provided with this function, you can find it only on more expensive versions. Anti-vibration system, serves to minimize vibration load on the operator. As a rule, this system is inherent in models with a vertical engine arrangement. Stopper for turning off the button, eliminates the need to permanently fix the switch button with your finger. Protection against jamming of the drill, this is a special clutch that protects the operator and the motor when the drill gets jammed. This function is far from superfluous when working with a powerful tool. 
When working with a hammer drill without such a function, when the hammer drill rig jams during rotation, there can be only two scenarios. The first, the fact that you will be stronger than the instrument will be able to hold it and it will not begin to rotate with your hands, and the second, it is not very good, because if you do not hold the rock drill while pressing the button lock, the rotating rock drill can lead to injury. Equipment An important factor in choosing a tool is its complete set. A case is undoubtedly a plus for any tool, and a good case is an even greater plus. How to distinguish a good case from a bad one? Very simple. The case should be rigid and not sag under the weight of the tool. Metal latches will last much longer than plastic ones, and the equipment located in the case should not fall out of its nests. If the case is made well, the tool and accessories in it lie tightly, which means that during transportation, nothing will fall out inside the case. Many tools come with a minimal set of drills and chisels. This option, undoubtedly, may turn out to be a plus for a home craftsman. You do not need to buy borax, and are stored in a case, right there, always at hand. Sometimes a standard chuck with SDS adapter is included. The presence of such a chuck will also protect you from unnecessary spending. Well, that's actually all I wanted to tell you about. Remember, a good tool is not always expensive, and even an inexpensive tool, selected correctly for your own needs and tasks, can please its owner for many years. That's all. I wish that your instrument never breaks and always pleases you. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Good luck to everyone and see you soon.